Hello and welcome to another edition of the Agri Solutions Cropland Genetics Crop Cam. I'm Mark Oman, Seed Agronomy Advisor. Today I have with me Dustin Nagabauer from New Vision Co-op. Talking about some soybean harvest concerns and questions uh, due to yield loss and uh, cutting, uh, different things guys can look at while they're harvesting. Uh, we came out here in the field today. We got an alfalfa square to represent one square foot. And we're just looking at soybeans that we find in here. We have not opened up the square foot as far as taking leaves and stems away, but we've already counted four soybeans laying there, and that equivalates to one bushel per acre on average. Uh, we could probably find more if we do take the leaves and stems away, but it's just something to think about while a guy is harvesting. Now, Dusty, there's some guidelines to also be concerned about and remember uh, with your combine and where the head loss or the, the thrashing loss could come from and, and other some university information on what's acceptable. Yeah, that's true, Mark. Uh, Probably what I always focus on is the three key areas. Uh, you got your pre-harvest loss before the combine hits. Uh, you've got your header loss, and you've also got your loss throughout the back of the combine. Um, take all three of those into effect. Um, look, look as you're as you're harvesting before you're out in the field or while you're in a different field. Uh, every variety is going to make a big difference. Um, number two, what I use, or uh, what I've used for guys in the past, uh, some university data has come through and said that uh, 3% yield loss uh, of your total crop loss is acceptable and you're better than average. Uh, I would say average uh, from what the university has said is roughly 3.5% uh, to 4% of your crop yield loss. So on 50 bushel beans, if you take off, you know, 3% is all you're losing, keep harvesting and keep going because you're doing a pretty good job. So this field we're in was rolled this spring, and as you can see here, the cutting height wasn't bad at all. We either don't have any pods on the ground or left on the stem. So the cutting height was great. Keep in mind the pods set to the ground can be caused by environmental conditions, but also genetics, and a later planting date can tend them to pod lower, and too thin a stand can also tend them to pod lower to the ground. Planting so dates obviously are something you can kind of control as far as when you can be out there if the ground's fit, but also populations is something you can manage too to keep that planting height uh, to the maximum to keep the pods off the ground come harvest time. So with that, this concludes another edition of the Cropland Genetics Agri Solutions Crop Cam, found only on us104.net.